Greetings, my lovable weirdos, and welcome to another episode of Transformation Thursdays. But wait a minute, Tilly, you may ask. What happened to this week's episode of Tinker Tuesdays? What's your excuse this time? Well, for this week's look, the build isn't really much of a build and takes like 30 seconds in video time, like maybe 10 minutes in actual time. So I figured, you know what, I'm not gonna put up a 30 second to a minute video um, just for Tinker Tuesday. I'm just gonna squish it into one video, which is this video. Okay, I don't have tea this time, but I do have water because it's important to stay hydrated. And also because Singapore is so humid and you just melt, but you basically just sweat a lot. So you need to replenish that water that you sweat out. Is this not like an amazing hat? Like when I first did that, Saka just stared at me the entire time and followed me around for a while. I don't blame him. It's a very interesting hat. And the fact that it's Pikachu and has flapping ears is the reason why I bought it. I was like, take my money. I'm in a bit of a embrace all the weird quirks about myself kind of mood. And I'm still kind of feeling kind of potato-ish. I'm doing more things. I'm going out more, I'm going to more classes, eating a bit more, though not a lot. Sleep is still kind of me, but better than it was. And basically still kind of feeling a bit like a mashed potato. So. This week, I'm gonna turn myself into a bowl of mashed potatoes. I kind of feel like I should have, I don't know, made mashed potatoes for this video. I kind of want mashed potatoes now. There is regret, a lot of regret. First things first, to embrace your inner mashed potato, I need to get rid of this hat. get rid of my hair because mashed potatoes don't have hair and if they do you should probably like chuck that out or complain to whatever restaurant slash food outlet you got your mashed potatoes from because mashed potatoes should not have hair in it I'm just saying all right let's stop hair up now i don't know about you but this still seems like a bit too much hair for mashed potatoes so i have a bald cap. I've never used a bald cap before, so let's see how this goes. It smells like a balloon. Mm. Which I suppose makes sense. It's rubbery. Here. Oh. It's not as awful as I thought it'd be. Although it is quite small. Okay. This should come over down here. And this should come over down here. I think the problem is that I have too much hair back here. Solution. We're gonna try a low ponytail to get rid of this lump of hair in the back of my head and then see if this thing fits. And if it does, we'll prosate it down because you're not gonna see the back of my head anyway. Because this is a cheap ball cap and only has like so much give, we're gonna prosate this in front of my ears. So our mashed potatoes will have ears. Prosate. Cup. Disclaimer. Before you use prosate um, or any other kind of prosthetic glue, make sure you have a dissolvent, a medical grade dissolvent, or if you're gonna use spirit gum, make sure you have spirit gum remover. Otherwise, you're just gonna rip your skin off when you take the makeup off. And you don't want that. That just hurts. Yeah. Prosate. Sponge you'll never ever be able to use again. Just take a little bit on your sponge and put it around your hairline. are being super annoying to glue down, so I've decided we don't need them. Our mashed potatoes will have ears anyway, doesn't matter. So, taking a pair of sharp scissors, very, very carefully, 
cut these little bits away. Um, just cut around the ear and back here. Around the ear, around the ear and back here. Like I said, be very careful and just go slow because I don't have hair there. I've shaved it all off. But if you're following this video and you want to try this, you probably will have hair there, so you don't want to accidentally cut off some of your hair. Although that's better than cutting off your ear, so just be careful. And then when you're done, just glue these little bits down. I don't have to because I applied Prosade all the way down here, so these bits are already stuck there, so that's fine. A good quality bald cap will definitely cover your entire head uh, all the way to the back of your head neck here so you should be able to hide all your hair underneath that but this is a really really cheap like three dollar bald cap so just work with what you got it's also kind of yellowish which is perfect because potatoes are yellow if you're using liquid latex to stick down your bald cap you might want to just put a layer over the seam to just blend it in a little bit more i'm okay with just leaving the seam as it is it's fine next because potatoes don't have eyebrows either so we're gonna get rid of those. I am wearing no makeup on my face this time, like there's absolutely nothing on my face, um, except lip balm. So I lied, I've got lip balm on, but nothing else besides that, which is great because as we learned last video, it works better when you don't have anything, when you don't have foundation on your face already. Grab your glue stick and your eyebrow spoolie thing, and basically just start brushing your eyebrow hairs upwards. Then take your glue stick and start applying, applying glue and sticking your eyebrows up. Sticking your eyebrow hairs up. Apply a layer of glue and just brush that in. resembling Cara Delevingne or a Disney villain. Let your eyebrows dry and then put several layers of foundation over that. My eyebrows are pretty dark so it took me several coats of foundation to darken them this much but you could still see them. Um, that's okay. Hopefully your eyebrows are lighter or sparser so you won't have this issue. Um, I could have just shaved them off but I hear that not everyone's eyebrows grow back if you shave them off, so... And I kind of like my eyebrows, so I'm not gonna chance that. Anyways, I went ahead and put foundation all over my face as well, which you think might be weird because we're about to turn our face into a different color, but I wanted to work with as even a face as possible. And as you guys probably saw earlier in the video, I don't have the most even skin tone. Like, it's quite sensitive, so it turns red very easily and I have a lot of spots because I just break out easily especially in this humidity my skin does better in colder climates which sucks for me then next we're gonna take a fluffy brush and using the lightest yellow shade from my NYX ultimate palette um, I'm just gonna put that color all over my face and turn myself yellow like a potato Got yellow face paint go ahead and use that it'll probably be a lot quicker but I don't have that so I'm just gonna patiently go over my entire face with this tiny brush <laughs> until it's all yellow don't forget to do your lips as well and your ears if those are gonna show which mine probably are don't forget to bring the yellow down your neck as well otherwise you're gonna have like half a potato head and Pasty skin. <laughs> oh, okay. So, at some point in putting all this yellow on my face, I kind of rubbed off the foundation that was on my eyebrows, and I can see them again. But then again, my eyebrows are just really dark, so I always notice them. So, what I'm gonna do is take an angled brush and the this shade of yellow. And I'm just gonna put that over. I've already done one eyebrow, I'm just gonna put it over the other eyebrow. 
now that I look suitably jaundiced and sickly, um, I'm gonna take another fluffy brush and using that same yellow that I used on my eyebrows, I'm just gonna go in and kind of contour a little bit, give my face a bit more dimension and just actually just play around with it. Because even though mashed potatoes can come nice and smooth and creamy, if you make them at home, it's kind of hard to do. Um, and I prefer the lumpy kind of mashed potatoes anyway, the one that's made out of fresh potatoes and not um, powdered potatoes. Um, and I can never get it smooth. Um, but I don't actually mind, I kind of like it like that. Um, so I'm gonna be kind of lumpy homemade mashed potatoes. Again, having regrets about not actually having actual mashed potatoes with me at the moment. This video is lacking. It needs mashed potatoes. Like actual mashed potatoes. I need actual mashed potatoes. Next, I'm gonna take the ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara in Yellow Goodbye. And I'm gonna put that on both my top and bottom lashes. And I'm gonna try to put some on my hair here as well. See if I can just blend that into the rest of my yellow face. <laughs> This is what I should have done for my eyebrows. Just put mascara all over that. And that's pretty much it for the makeup portion of this look. I don't know about you guys, but when I make my own mashed potatoes, I like adding like bits of sausage or bacon to it because it just makes the flavor so much better, especially if you don't have gravy and I don't know how to make my own gravy. Um, so the fat from the sausage and bacon kind of acts like gravy and gives the potato, the mashed potatoes an amazing taste. So I'm going to have bacon bits in my mashed potatoes and I made that out of bits of brown and red foam sheets and basically cut that out into strips and then cut them into small little little squares. So I'm gonna take that and using the prosit I used earlier, I'm just gonna stick that randomly all over um, as you would randomly find bacon bits mixed into your mashed potatoes. If you do that like I do. Go ahead and just be random about where you stick your little bacon bits. Don't have to worry about which color lands next to each other either. I'm not really worrying about that. Because um, you can't really control that when you like mix your bacon bits and sausage bits into your mashed potatoes. So just be random. Just don't worry about it. Put your bacon bits wherever you want to put your bacon bits. Next, I took some green crepe paper and I rolled it up and took a pair of scissors and cut it to make some chives! <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. So basically just do the same thing, take some prosate or whatever makeup adhesive you have, dot it over where you think your chives would land if you just took a handful and just sprinkle this on top of your head. stick your chive just right in the middle there so it doesn't unravel like this one's kind of probably gonna do at some point. Now this is where this week's build comes in. You can't just have mashed potatoes floating in nothing. You kind of need a bowl for your mashed potatoes. So what I did is took some brown corrugated cardboard just because it bends easier and I made myself a bowl using a variation of a video I found for how to do DIY cone of shames. <laughs> it's pretty much how my bowl is gonna look like a gigantic brown cone of shame. <laughs> yes. Um, so this is how I did it. I didn't have sewing tape so I ended up using a length of string but if you've got sewing tape that will make your life so much easier. So go ahead and measure your neck. Using measuring tape, I determined how far up I wanted the rim of the bowl to go all around my head. To 
To make things easier on myself, I went ahead and drew a line straight down the middle of my cardboard to use for reference later on. Next, I made a mark on that center line about 10 centimeters up from the bottom edge of my cardboard. This is the mark that I'm going to base all my other measurements off of. Take your neck measurement and divide it by half. This is what you're going to measure out on the center line based off the mark you made earlier and perpendicular to that center line on each side of the mark. Then you basically want to connect these three marks. To do this, I used my ruler to pivot off that crucial center marking and basically measured out my half neck measurement all around. Next, connect all the dots. Because I wanted a dip in my bowl where my face would be, I have two measurements for the height of my bowl. The shorter measurement turned out to be 12.5 centimeters, and the taller measurement, which would be the back of my bowl, was about 20 centimeters. Making sure that my ruler still lined up with that center marking, I measured out 12.5 centimeters partway around both sides of the circle that we just created, and then 20 centimeters from the top of the circle. Connect those dots. I created a slight S shape to connect the back of my bowl to the front of my bowl, just to make sure that it's a gradual slope down from the back to the front where the dip is. Now all you've got to do is cut that out. And you'll end up with something like this. nicely around your head and there decide on how big you want your bowl to be like how much you, you can make it this big or bring it in even more as you can see by measuring out the 12.5 cm here and then the 20 cm here um, I get a bit of a dip in the front of the bowl so you can actually see my face, my mashed potato self. Um, okay, so just fit this around your neck and because I'm lazy, very carefully staple this together. If you want to reuse this cone of shame at any point, you might want to use something else instead of staples, like either figure out how to velcro these bits together or use tape. I am just going to staple this. mashed potato bowl, but we're not done yet. Next, I'm gonna take some yellow crepe. Although it looks white, can you see how it is? It's like a light yellow crepe paper. And using a pair of scissors, I'm just gonna cut this into halves, or you can cut this to thirds. And just, I'm just gonna scrunch it up and stuff the rest of a mashed potato bowl. paper chives and I'm just gonna sprinkle that around the rest of my soft fluffy mashed potatoes. This is hard when you can't see what you're doing. Ta-da! I have become 
big bowl of mashed potatoes. I'm roasting my mashed potato myself. I'm kind of feeling hungry for mashed potatoes. Why did I not get mashed potatoes? Alright, if you guys like this video, please remember to thumbs up and subscribe and hit the little notification bell. I'm pretty sure it's on this side this time. I'm pretty sure. Um, because that lets you know whenever I post updates. Although I hear it doesn't work, but do it anyway because you never know, it might work this time. Uh, leave a comment down below about other things you might like to see me try. Um, <laughs> other food things you might want to see me turn myself into. I don't know. I'm actually really enjoying being a bowl of mashed potatoes right now. It's kind of hard to hear around this crepe paper, but it's kind of comfy. I feel like I'm being blanketed by a soft, creepy cloud. Mm. If you think this video is super weird, leave a comment. If you think you want to see more of these weird videos, leave a comment too. I've noticed the last couple of Transformation Thursday videos have followed like a color theme. First started off like a really blue makeup, then a really red makeup, and now a very yellow makeup. <laughs> Primary colors! So what color do you think the next makeup video will be? Who knows? That's it guys! Thanks for watching! And go make yourself a bowl of mashed potatoes! delicious. Love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye! Mmm, potatoes. <laughs> it occurred to me that I should show you guys how to remove the bald cap that you've stuck onto your head. Um, because that's a good thing to know unless you just want to wear a bald cap. Forever. So, if you remember my very first Transformation Thursday video, at the end of it, I talked about how I removed the snowflake hot glue prosthetics I had stuck on myself, but I didn't have a video of me demonstrating that because my camera had decided to stop recording, or my phone had decided to stop recording. So, this is the same dissolve I was talking about. I got this from Guardian. Um, it's basically a medical grade plaster remover. So basically, it's quite strong. Like, this is the brush I'm using. It's a cheap, crappy brush because I will never be able to use it again for anything else. Um, if you can see, the handle is painted black and the paint is coming off on my hands because of the dissolve. But although it seems quite strong, it's actually safe for your skin, which is the important point. If you want to use something that's safe for your skin and not something like nail polish remover which I've seen people recommend on Google um, when people ask about how to remove Pros Aid or spirit gum or any kind of makeup adhesive some people are like oh I can just use nail polish remover because it has um, isopropyl myristate in it and basically isopropyl alcohol is what is in makeup remover yes Nail polish remover has isopropyl myristate and isopropyl alcohol but there are also a whole bunch of other things in there like acetone that's not meant to go on your face. So be safe, use a safe medical grade um, dissolvent or just buy something from Miron or a spirit gum remover if you're using spirit gum. Okay, so what I did was pour some out into a disposable cup. Not the same disposable cup you're using before, use a different one. Take my little brush and just dip it in to get some of it on the brush. And I've already done it from this side, so it's lifted up quite a bit there, as you see. Basically try to find an edge that's not completely stuck down. If you had used liquid latex to adhere your ball cap to your head and then had put more liquid latex over the edge to try to blend it out. Um, what you can do is move your face around because it helps make space between your skin and the liquid latex. Um, and then once you found a loose edge, go in there with your brush and just slowly, that's the key point, slowly, be patient, slowly work the dissolvent um, under your bowl cap. Like so, just slowly. Work that until your entire ball cap comes off. <laughs>